Hi everyone, it's Ollie Walsh here and in this video I'm going to be showing you four ways that you can improve the energy efficiency of your properties, why it matters and how it could save you thousands. So at the end of last year I took a course to become a certified DEA. Wrong. Copy that. That's a domestic energy assessor, which basically means that I can assess the energy efficiency of properties and issue EPCs, which are energy performance certificates, which basically show how energy efficient a particular property is, and also lists various recommendations about how to improve the energy efficiency of that property. So first of all, why is it even important that we think about energy efficiency in your rental property? Well, first and foremost, it's good for the planet. Save the world. If we can reduce the energy consumption of every property in the UK, that's gonna have a massive impact on reducing the damage that we're causing the planet. Secondly, it's good for your tenants' bills. If your house is more energy efficient, they're gonna be spending less on their energy bills and they're gonna to wanna to stay for longer. Third, it's required by law. As of the 1st of April 2018, it's now a legal requirement to have a minimum rating of an EPCE in order to be able to legally rent out your property. A is the best rating, G is the worst. And if you find yourself renting out a property that doesn't have a valid EPC or has an EPC rating of F or below, you could find yourself faced with a £5,000 fine. Lastly, there's also rumours about the minimum rating being increased to a C, so from an E to a C. So that's quite a big jump and that might come into play around 2025, but nothing is confirmed yet. So, before splashing out on expensive and potentially unnecessary measures to improve the energy efficiency of your home, here are four quick wins to get you started. First, low energy lighting. Replace all of the light bulbs in your house with LED light bulbs. This will bump up your EPC score by one or two points. And if we assume that each bulb is going to cost, say, £4 and you have 15 bulbs in your house, that's only going to set you back 60 quid. Second, loft insulation. You're going to want a minimum of 270 millimetres of loft insulation in your roof. And for your typical two or three three bed terraced house, that's going to set you back around 200 to 300 pounds in the actual loft insulation material, plus any labour on top if you're not doing it yourself. It's a pretty easy job, it's going to take someone maybe an hour or two to fit that into your loft space. Number three, TRVs. This TVR is the new lion. Wrong. Or thermostatic radiator valves. These allow you to control each radiator individually and turn them on or off. You can pick these up for as cheap as 10 pounds per unit and then all you're going to be paying for is the labour on top of that. So let's say you've got six radiators in your home that's 60 quid on materials plus the labor for a plumber to come and fit that let's say another 100 quid on top of that so the total this is going to set you back is 160 pounds lastly a wireless thermostat and combined programmer you can go fancy and expensive and go for your hive or nest kind of thing or you can pick up a basic one for about 50 quid plus the labor to install it let's call that another 100 quid on top so that's going to set you back a total of around about 150 pounds so there you have it. Before you get your next EPC, I would recommend implementing all four of those quick wins, which will definitely help to bump up your EPC rating. And if after that you still find that your score comes out on the low side, then you can look into more expensive measures such as cavity wall insulation, double glazing, that kind of thing. So I hope that was helpful. If you found that useful, please subscribe, like, comment on this video. I'd be keen to hear your thoughts. And until next time, peace.